This is the Morning Swim Show Streamline for Monday, February 22nd, 2010, bringing you news from aquatic sports around the globe. We've got a lot to cover from the weekend, so let's get right to it. The Georgia women won their seventh SEC title on Saturday, beating Florida by 126 points. Wendy Trott was one of several stars in the meet for the Bulldogs. She won the 500 free on Thursday and took the 1650 on Saturday with a 1547.55. Trot now heads into the NCAAs as the defending champion in the mile. On the men's side, Auburn won its 14th straight conference title, edging out the Florida Gators by just 19 points. Florida had the lead after the 200 back thanks to a 1-2 finish by Marco Lagran and Omar Pinzon. Auburn came back in the 100 free to lead by 8 points and never looked back. Florida was tough all the way to the final event, the 400 free relay. They finished second to the Tigers by just 3 tenths of a second. The Auburn men are the defending NCAA champions. And our thanks again to Tim Binning from theswimpictures.com for giving us those great photos from the SEC championships. The Indiana women won their second straight Big Ten Conference title, roaring back from a major deficit to beat Minnesota in the team race by 186 points. The Hoosiers were led by Olympian Kate Fasenko, who won the 200 back and 200 fly on Saturday and helped the team win the 800 free relay. In other college news, Nathan Adrian was the top swimmer at the big Stanford Cal dual meet. Adrian swam a 1934 in the 50 free and 4291 in the 100. But Stanford took the meet. They won by just four points. Adrian's time in the 50 is believed to be the fastest swim in dual meet competition, according to the information given to us by swimming superfan Bill Bell. This sets up for a great Pac-10 meet, which starts March 3rd for the men. Across the pond, Germany and Great Britain faced off in their latest version of the duel in the pool. It was in the UK, and the Brits used the home pool advantage to win the meet 207-109. to 109. World champions and world record holders Liam Tancock and Paul Biederman were the swimmers of the meet. Tancock won both sprint backstrokes, and Biederman won the 100, 200, and 400 freestyles. None of their times were very fast for them, as both teams were at very various stages of training, but the meet did showcase some young talent to look out for in the coming years. Jazz Carlin is one of the names being mentioned as a future distance star for Great Britain. Carlin beat Rebecca Adlington and Joanne Jackson in the 400 free with a 406.41, and then she won the 200 free in 159.4. Back here in the States, North Baltimore Aquatic Club ended Longhorn Aquatics reign at the top of the USA Swimming Club Excellence Gold Medal Rankings. No doubt, helped by the swims put up by Michael Phelps, Katie Hoff, Felicia Lee, Elizabeth Pelton, and others in 2009, North Baltimore gained the top spot. Swim Atlanta was second. Longhorn Aquatics slipped to third. A couple of upsets highlighted the Australian Open Water National Team Trials over the weekend. After winning the 10K race on Friday, Melissa Gorman could only manage a sixth place finish in the 5K swim, the event in which she won the World Champs last year. New Zealander Kara Baker was first in 1 hour 20 seconds. The national title went to 14-year-old Bonnie McDonald, who finished 7 seconds behind Baker. On the men's side, Trent Grimsey, the silver medalist in the 25K swim at Worlds, finished 6th in the 10K swim, but then rallied to win the 5K event, winning by 5 seconds over Andrew Beto. You can read about all the meets we talked about here and many more at SwimmingWorld.com, and be sure to head over to SwimmingWorld.tv to see on-demand video footage from the Virginia Independent School State Championships. And that is it for the news today. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.